I think both those guys are going to come back in time, that they will make the playoffs and they will be a threat in the playoffs. Bubba, next. LeBron won't allow his children to play football. Love it or shove Listen, it? Listen, people are going to think I'm biased. I completely shove it. And, and this may end the discussion for, for another guy I'm going to bring up as well. But I, I completely shove it. Football, to me, is especially at the youth league, is as safe. And that's what, how LeBron's kids are that age. As safe as it's ever been. There is there is such a premium now on on playing football, uh, on, on concussion awareness, on equipment fitting, on proper tackling, the uniformity, and I keep talking about the NFL Heads Up program, which I think is fantastic for kids to learn to, to hit the right way. The next generation of our, our players are going to tackle better and have better fundamentals and technique. And hopefully, and it's not going to get rid of all injuries and hopefully not get hurt. So I have said it. I think people make it sound like the sky is falling. I think it's uh, – and they're, they're have a right to feel the way they want. And, you know, that's why my wife is out there talking mostly to moms. She was at a mom's clinic in Detroit yesterday. Is because we all know, especially at the Little League level, the moms are the ones making the decisions a lot on their kids playing or not, and it's giving them the information about it. But when you have the stars come out, and this is where I'm going to go, and I'm sorry it's probably going to take up the rest of our time, uh, is I can't stand when they just blanket say that. I mean, it is safe as now as it's ever been to play. And the next person I'm going to bring up, because I read a long article about Brett Favre and what he's doing now and how he's getting past, you know, uh, all the comebacks he had and finally, you know, just is happy where he is. And that, which, which is great. But the thing that aggravates me is him talking about what the game did to him and if he had a son, how he probably wouldn't let him play football. Yet in the same article, when he was coaching high school, he's coaching high school players. He's, he's talking about, he's talking in that article about uh, when a player gets hurt, he asks him basically, talks about three questions. Do you have a broken bone? Is the bone sticking out? Are you bleeding profusely? That, that's pretty much what he, what he asks. If not, you're back on the field. So all of a sudden, he's, he's all saying, I won't let my kid play, let, he, yet he's coaching kids that he's basically asking them those questions and sending them back on the field. So, I mean, what, where, where, what message are we sending there? Well, it, I mean, it, gets, it gets aggravating to me. When the guys that have played, you know, if you have your feeling, that's fine. But what is that? My kid can't play, but, my God, unless a bone's sticking out on you, son, you know, you junior in high school, get back there out on the field. Well, maybe it's – I can't speak for Brett Favre, but maybe it's because that is the mentality you have to have to play that sport, and I don't want to put my kid in a position where you do that. But if you're going to play, that has to be the mentality.